I just I just wanted to share kind of what I've been taking away from it and um, I come to this workshop with, with a still photography background and so what's been really really fun for me is is the participatory part because uh, as a still photographer I find it very easy to just like you know take one step back or even one step forward and getting people's faces a little bit but just to let them do what they're doing and not ask questions mm. while they're doing it. So that's, for me, that's been like the biggest learning curve is the part where you like, oh, so what are you doing now? And, and, and I just did that yesterday and I feel like, like it added so much to my piece mm. to get that, you know, to get that. Because, you know, in journalism school they teach you like, you know, that you need to be objective and blah, blah, blah. But... In reality, you're there. You're another human being in that situation. In reality, you're changing that situation no matter what. And so I think by acknowledging it, by asking questions on the tape, it's like, it's just giving voice to that. Like, hey, I'm here. Mm -hmm. I'm here. I got a camera. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows it. <laughs> now, you know, now I'm not hiding it anymore. Good. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's an interesting. I'm telling you, this, 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 this method and this methodology draws much more from the methodology of, of, of photojournalism, mm -hmm. still photojournalism, than it does than it does television journalism. Mm -hmm. You know, it's this individual sense of authorship, which, which frankly, you know, I, I love because um, journalism for me is is, is it's always a very collaborative craft. Mm -hmm. um, um, and, but I like the sense of, of, of authorship. This is mine. Mm -hmm. You know.